In this JavaScript snippet, we're going to look at how to capitalize the first letter of a sentence or the first letter of each word in a sentence using JavaScript. Hi, this is James from Junior Developer Central and welcome to the JavaScript snippet series where we look at some of the more common things that you'll need to do with JavaScript within your junior developer role. Don't forget to take a second to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of the essential JavaScript tutorials. Okay, so let's make a start. It's quite a simple thing to actually make our sentence uppercase. So I've got a variable set up that has a string assigned to it and it's been logged out to the console at the moment. And as you can see, it's all in lowercase. So what we want to do is make the first letter of it uppercase. I'll show you the most common way that this can be done and then we'll talk through some of the different ways that you could approach this. So to convert the sentence, what I'll actually do is instead of logging out the whole sentence itself, if we say sentence dot to uppercase, and you can see there's a lowercase method as well if you wanted to use that. If we log that out to our console, you'll see the whole of the string becomes uppercase, which isn't exactly what we want. We only want the first character to be uppercase. So to do that, we can actually access the first value in the string just by using the square bracket notation after the reference to the variable. So now you can see that the first letter is displayed and it is indeed uppercase as well, but we actually want the rest of the string as well. So we can get that by using the slice method. So if we say sentence.slice and pass that a value of one, it will actually return everything after the first character in the string. If we wanted to make sure the rest of the string was definitely lowercase, we could also call the to lowercase method on that variable straight after we've called slice. So that's the easiest way to actually print out a capitalized first letter in your string, but we might want to save that into a variable as well. So we could say uh, capitalized sentence, for example, and then just save the results of those two calls into that variable and then print that out instead. Uh, if you come across a an example that looks a bit similar to this using a different function instead of the square brackets, but using the char at method, then this is an equally valid way of doing it. It does exactly the same thing. The difference being that the char at method could be considered slightly slower in terms of performance within the browser, or that shouldn't really be a problem for most people. But this will also support some really older browsers. And we're talking things like Internet Explorer 6 and 7 here. So if you have to support those within the code that you're writing, or you come across this in legacy code that you're working with, then that's probably the reason this method's being used. But equally, you can still go back and use the square bracket notation and it does exactly the same thing and it's probably a little bit easier to read and a little bit clearer as to what's going on. So one thing we could do to make this code a bit more reusable is to put it into a function. So we could say our capitalized sentence is a function now. So we could say capitalize string for example and I'm just going to use an ES6 uh, arrow function here to say that the capitalized string variable is actually a function that has one parameter passed in, which is string. And we could then just change this to return the string as modified with those few function calls. And the reason it's really handy to have it in a function is because obviously it can be used in other parts of your code. But say we wanted to do another task, which is to capitalize every word in the sentence, we could actually use that function once that sentence is broken down into an array. So let's have an example of that. If we first of all just get an array of words, so if we just said words is equal to the sentence dot split on every space. So it's a bit of a quick and dirty way to split the sentence into words, but it will do for our purposes here. So if we just log that out to the console, you should see that all of the words have been put into our array. What we can do then for each of those words, we can call the capitalize string function that we just created. And to do that, if we use the map function and for each of those items in the array, we'll call the capitalize string function. And let's just open that up so you can see that all on one line. So you'll see all of the items in the array now start with a capital letter, which is great, that's what we want. But in order to get them back into a string, we need to join the array with a space. So we would do that by saying capitalized sentence is equal to words dot join. And we want to put a space back in where we took it out before. So if we just log out the capitalized sentence back to the console, you can see we've got our string put back together again but each word in the sentence now has a capital letter at the start. 
So we could probably put this into a function as well in case we wanted to reuse that somewhere else in our code. And again, I'm going to use an ES6 arrow function and I'll just take out the words declaration and literally it will do the same thing but rather than defining any intermediary variables for us. So we could say string.split map with the capitalized func uh, string function and then join it back together and return that join backup string from the function. So now instead of doing that, okay, we've got an error there at the minute, so we need to actually call it. So we could say capitalize words and then pass in our original sentence once more. So there we have the capitalization of the first letter of a string. As you can see, the code to actually do it is pretty simple, but there are a couple of things that you can do, such as setting up the functions to capitalize one word or multiple words. And I'll put a link to the code in the description below. So that's it for this snippet. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and I'll see you next time.